one of the things that's going to happen, like if you're not interested in dating, you're not interested in any of that stuff, just go ahead and um, go somewhere else. But if you are interested in this, you should check this out. The smoothest online dating funnel ever. Talk dirty to me how to get women on your to date on your turn. All right, so I'm just going to give you the overviews of what's in this course because I had a lot of people who were asking. And you know what? For the price of a date with a dusty dame, you will spend more than that taking some chick out to not even a high class restaurant. You go to Applebee's, you go to Red Lobster, you coming out of there. $50, $60 light, you add drinks, you're coming out $75, $80 bucks for an hour or two of her time. Uh, the beta price in the course is $99. If you compare and contrast this, this is the price of less of one date that you can get many, many dates forever. The smoothest online dating funnel, Talk To Me Dirty, is a course on how to sexually arouse women in written and verbal format. Once stimulated, you will be able to move these women into various containers for massive in-game results, aka fucking with reckless abandon. Now, this is the curriculum, Dream Girl. Everything runs off of this. You need to have a written description of your dream girl. You need to, and I'm gonna give it, everything runs off this. You will take the time to write up a draft of your ultimate girl. It must be written. Will include physical attributes as well as personality characteristics. What is the use of dating a 10 when she is nasty, has a bad attitude, and she is lazy? Character matters and so does personal habits. Often I place these in the own fuck only container. Now we're going to talk about attraction levels here. Raw and pure sexual chemistry, you don't even have to know her name to fuck her. The big problem with this is how random it can be. You might go weeks, months, or years before meeting someone with this crazy level of sexual chemistry. And then also, if not properly harnessed, you will burn out. No one can sustain such a crazy level of high and intense emotion for long. It is fun, but it's not the best because of the fast burn rate and randomness. These are the type of chicks who can fuck your brains out one week and not answer your text the next week. This happens quite a bit. When you have this um, society we live in where people just wilding out, people doing what they want to do. And it's just a pure, barbaric, animalistic, primal deal. And that's why it is so fleeting. But this is what everyone wants. Everyone wants this because it's easy. You don't have to do anything. You just show up and panties drop. Who wouldn't want that? But it's not the best way. It's not the proper course that you should take. And many people don't seem to understand this because uh, we want stuff to be easy. And that's going to be problematic. It's going to be highly problematic when you're trying to build, when you're trying to, of this is attraction level two. You have good conversation and she's clearly interested. You can feel the attraction level. Uh, it can feel like attraction level at one time, but it's slower and more delicious. She's fun to hang out with and the sex is great, but there are some things missing. You have fun, but the relationship level stays in the same place, which could cool. Um, she might be a long-term rotation piece. Attraction level two. You like her. She likes you. You know, it's a little chemistry there. It's not like one completely, but it's, it's close. And it's more sustainable. All right. Attraction level three. Attraction level three is like two. You're good, but there's much, much more. You actually have a lot of shit in common. That's where deep and lasting chemistry builds and you can have a long term relationship. Opposites do attract. They do. But likes stay together. This girl is someone you can spend all day with and she never gets on your nerves. You move in sync and she fits your life and she fits well into yours. 
This is the girlfriend or wife level attraction. She's really into you and what you like. And I will say, if you get this pull the trigger, it could be a fun ride. Now, what I mean by that is you got to be judicious because if you're a guy that dates a lot, you know, you may not want to pull the trigger because you know what's out there. But if you're the average guy who doesn't date a lot, this could be your wife. And you may find her once every two or three years because you don't date enough. Attraction level four is like attraction level three, but she's your dream girl. Going back to the dream girl concept, because you have written down who she is, what she is, what she looks like, what her hair color is, what her eye color is, what's her person. You got all that in your mind and that activates your reticular cortex and that starts bringing her to you. I know most of you have still not written down or rolled up of your dream girl. I know you haven't. Attraction level, but she's like a dream girl from personality looks and she digs you. This is the hardest one to come by and she may show up in your life only a handful of times if you do not date much. The more you date, the more this type shows up. That's why I urge you to go with level three. This is crazy hard to find unless you do a lot of dating. Meaning about 10 to 20 women a month for about a year or you can use the advanced active provisioning which is a part of dominant male. Now, Spark level is something that can happen throughout the spectrum here. Spark level is, uh, you ever hear a girl say she's looking for sparks, that magic. But you ask her, what is She said, I don't know. I'll know it when I see it. I know it when I feel it. What that is, is innate reciproc uh, reciprocity. Innate reciprocity. And that means that there, there's something in you that mirrors her. She feels at home. She feels cool because there's something in you that's a direct mirror to who she is. And she recognizes that and she likes it. Now, it can happen naturally, but it also can be manufactured. Yep, that's right. You can create a scenario where she feels like she knows you start saying things like, I feel like I know you. I know we just met, but I feel a connection. It's like I've known you forever. Gee, I feel I can trust you. Caution. <laughs> on a spark level <laughs> be careful with this uh spark level will get you crazy bitches and stalkers it is so rare for women to get this that they go insane so be careful don't abuse this i had this chick show up unannounced at my house while i was fucking another chick maybe i'll tell a story one day maybe maybe not i don't know it, it's kind of wild now let's get into now, this is the curriculum. Each one of these things will be broken down into a section and we'll get into the details. This is just kind of like the summary of what's going to come. All right. So approach, whether online or offline, your approach matters in an online format. Your pictures matter, but your bio matters more. I will show you how to work that out in this course. Now, let's talk about Tinder. If you're dating 25 and under, you can get by with pictures. And even to that degree, you still need a bio and you still need a good one. The older you become, the more important your bio is. So if you're 30 some, 40 some, your bio is critical. All right. So then we'll get to acquire. This is getting the email address, phone number or Facebook access. In a perfect world, you get the number and hope it hooks up to her Facebook profile. You want to know as much about her as possible without asking. When you can drop a few nuggets that you know she likes and moves you towards spark level. This is one of the ways you can create it. Uh, Q. Now, this is super, super important for you players out there and anyone who wants to be a player. When you meet a bunch of girls, you got to have a holding place for them. I like to use Google Voice, but of late it's been glitchy. And the Q is where you tag and research your girls. In many cases, after you find out a few things, you may want to stick. You may not want to stick your dick in there. Uh, I met this girl who was a bona fide 10 and I got enough information about her to get and also understand women always do this. They don't tell you they do this some unless they get sloppy, but women always research you to the NIF degree. Always. She, like I said, your girl, your wife, if you real cool, ask her and she'll say, well, I did Google you. They always do this. So you need to start doing this as well. And I got to her Facebook page and I found out a lot of stuff that turned me off. Uh, she was one of those type of chicks to walk around with chip nail polish all the time on her feet, on her hands. That's a big turnoff for me. 
Um, there was pictures of her in her room. It looked like a tornado hit it. And the more that I found out about her, the more turned off I got. So even though she was a bona fide 10, her behavior made her a 2. I was just completely turned off, and I didn't even go with it. And later on, I found out that she was into drugs. So that was a good. Because, see, when you do your background research, and it doesn't take days, and literally 30 minutes if you, you know what to do. All right, sort. You have, And all of this is below. Well, most of this is below because uh, YouTube cut it off. Sort. You will have four containers to sort your girls into. Dream girl. Almost dream girl. Fuck only. Rotation Bay. <laughs> creating, cotain, creating, creating containers is uber important with these predetermined goals. The sorting becomes easier. Scientific and your dating choices will improve and your ability to prove to your ability to fuck will drastically improve. Because once you start having predetermined goals and benchmarks, then when you meet a girl, you're not going to be overly impressed, which helps you because that's like she's going to feel the fact that you're not turned on by her or you're not impressed by her. And that's going to make her work harder to get you. Now, present once you've done your research, if you can, there'll be cases you can't. You're to present yourself to the girls, depending on what you find out. She may have a lot of uh, books in her pictures. You read the book. Yeah, you actually read the book and open with I just read so and so. And this hooks her on attraction level three. This is where intense chemistry can be built. Convert. This is what we're aiming for. Getting that pussy. I have a fuck first date policy and date second policy. Seriously, I've made many girls break their don't kiss on the first date policy as well as I don't do hookups. If you do not turn a woman on sexually, the friend zone awaits you. So to save time and to cut through the bullshit, I start making sexual offers from the first text, call, and meeting. You got to be brutally honest right out the box. Now, how you format women early on in the meeting stages will you. Uh, once again, what I was saying is if you are looking for to get married, this course is for you. If you're looking to get a girlfriend, this course is for you. If you're looking to smash, this course is for you. Yeah, I, I don't understand why it just dipped out. I don't know. Maybe I have too many windows open. But here's the deal. Uh, right now, it's beta pricing. Everything is just below. You can read it again because I got most of it down there. And you can go to disruptivemail.org and sign up for the beta pricing because I feel it's going to take me three to four weeks to work on this because I'm still collating the Craigslist ads, which are very important for online dating. Uh, you can still write a pretty long profile for plenty of fish. I don't know about match.com. I hadn't signed up for that. Bumble, um, you, you, you only have, it's Bumble's like Twitter. You only have like a hundred, maybe 200 characters, but you can, I, you, there's a way that you can make that work. But your pictures are going to drive the fact because they're going to look at your picture first and they're going to read your bio second. And if your picture is good, but your bio's whack, they're going to like swipe uh, right. But that's it. Like I said, I'm going to do this again. And because there's, there's a lot more to do. It's going to take me three to four weeks to build this out because of the Craigslist stuff, because I have 10 years, like really 12 years of ads to go through. And I'm probably going to devote an hour a day because there's no way that I'm going to be able to just rush through this. That's not going to work. But this will probably be a substantial size course because once I get the Craigslist ads in and then I'm probably just going to go through those high points of the things that you need to do to establish your funnel and the tools that you need and the stuff that you need. Because when I started this in my mind, I was like. Hmm. Let me do it this way. But then I started to think and I started to go through the Craigslist of, and this is going to be very intense. Now, this is now what are the benefits of this course? If you're a regular looking guy, you can get much pussy. It's going to take you a minute to get implemented, but now you'll have a system where you can go ahead and set yourself up 
to win with women on a consistent basis and get to date women on your terms. Uh, this happened last night. I knew exactly what this chick was going to do. She answered the BDSM ad. And one of the things that's funny, uh, we were talking. And I'm going to tell you, just during the conversation, I learned a lot that I, I wouldn't even engage her. She lived, She's like 40-something, but she... She lives with her mother or her mother lives with her because two times it's like, oh, I'm watching television with my mom. You don't get in your car and go to someone's house to watch television with your mom. You live with your mother or she lives with you. So that's a problem. Uh, then she was talking about her last relationship and how he used to pleasure her for hours while she just laid there. Pillow princess. That's a problem. And I think she because uh, she said, you know, I, I slept on it, but I don't think, you know, I'm ready to move to this level. And she really had very weak interest to begin with. And I went through that just to test my hypothesis on how that was going to work, because when you get really good at this, you're going to know what a girl's going to do before she does it. And that's going to give you a lot of power. It's a very powerful system. There's nothing like it on the Internet. And. In my video on disruptive mail, because the reason I'm doing it here is because this is where the traffic's going to go to the website. I offered five hundred dollar challenge for anybody that can show me anything that's remotely like mine. That if you can find another person that talks about dating that has a system just like mine, and then like I said, go below and you will not see these keywords. You will not see this format anywhere else. Because most of that stuff is predicated on short-term results. Game up a chick, get her in bed, move on to the next one. So if that's what you want, we can do that here. But this course offers much more because let's say you want to keep a long-term rotation. A long-term rotation is having sex with the same girls for six months to three years. You got your queue of three or four. You can hit it anytime you want to. They know about each other. Uh, we'll be talking about how to set that up because I think every man, and this is just me, and a lot of people disagree with it, but I personally think that the Pareto rule, the 80 20 rule, that 20% of the dudes are fucking 80% of the chicks. And with that rule in place, everybody doesn't have their own man. You got one guy, he's laying. 10, 15, 20 chicks a month. You got another guy. He has not slept with 20 chicks in his lifetime. Now, I'm not saying he has to, nor should he. But what I'm saying is, if you do not experience women, it becomes very hard for you to recognize female nature. And you need the experience to do that. How do you feel about people copying after you? What do you mean? Uh, there's already some people who have started using my stuff already. And the thing that I have to do is to make my stuff so distinct that when you see it, you're like, oh, that's Glendon's stuff. That's my protection because going after him, naming them, whining and stuff that all that that does nothing. That does not. And also because the way the system is set up, because like everything I gave you that you can get chicks just off the overview but once we get into the details, uh, once we get into the stories, once we get into the experiences, that's going to be very hard for someone to copy. Uh, I'll tell you a dirty little story. One of these, she was 18 or 19, and this was years ago, and she answered the ad. And typically, my containers, I try not to put 18, 19, 20-year-old. They're, they, they're very flaky. They're very I'm here today. I'm not here tomorrow. Very, very inconsistent and very unstable. But she came on through and she was a talker. It was really, really interesting because she was a white girl and she was like, how do you like hitting this white pussy? You like hitting this white pussy? And I'm just looking at her like, is she serious? Then she, she didn't really see that was working. Then she started like, you like fucking this slut? And I was like, okay, now you're talking my language. Um, very vocal. Like I said, 18, 19 years old. Very comfortable sexually. Could fuck like a porn star. And I kept her on the team for about three years. I got to saw her, I saw her grow up. 
So you can do this. And I'll tell you why I was in this stage. I had a situation where I was in a long term relationship and I didn't feel like devoting myself to one woman because I have a lot to give. And I found out for a lot of women, it's overwhelming. It's just it's just too much most of the time for one woman unless she's matching me and she's a mirror of reciprocity. So I just like kept two, three. It worked out wonderful for everybody involved. Uh, the problem is, and I'll talk about this in dominant male, is when you get into multiple submissives and submissives or submissives are very, very jealous. Very, very jealous. All right. So I'm going to wrap this up. You can hit that first link and then you can go ahead and get the beta pricing, which I'm going to keep for a while because I'm building it out. And then I'll be sure to put some actionable content in there this weekend because it's going to take you about a month to set it up properly. Because, you know, Confucius says short pencil is better than long memory. And you got a lot of people who are trying to juggle all this stuff in their mind or use their phone and you're going to make mistakes like I did. This is why I've created the sorting process. This is why I created the tagging process because I was processing so many. You know, it's funny. Um, <clears throat> to some the small, small degree, I understand the problems that the administration is having handling all these little kids because you got a lot of stuff to do. And I understand I was just handling grown women and they're handling these kids in like, what, 70, 50 a day. Do you imagine if you had 70 80 women a day coming through your queue. That's unmanageable. You, there ain't no way you can fuck all of them. You can't fuck half of them. You can't fuck 20% of them. There's just no way. So just looking at it from that standpoint, that's a lot of people. And typically, once you get up and running, and depending upon how aggressive you're with it, I used to get 5 to 10 leads per day. And then I would put them through the funnel and they would usually pan out to one or two. And then I started to, it's kind of like, it's like jobs. The more candidates that you have, the higher that your standards become for them to get hired. And that's what happened to me because uh, I'm starting off with the early ads, which were like one night stands, um, dinner dates, stuff like that. And then, as you'll see, I've worked my way up to the point where uh, last four years, maybe five, I was just posting BDSM ads because I had gotten to a higher level of woman. I got into better experiences, more fun, better sex. It was crazy. Rhonda, interesting how little I know about men. I'm almost 50. What do you mean? That's funny. Um, typically... And I didn't even send this out to the uh, list because this was supposed to be a promo. And I'll see how it works out once it renders and I can cut it up. But typically, most people don't date this much. Most people don't um, have these kind of funnels. And I will tell you, if you're a guy that's looking to get married, and I'm talking to you, if you run this funnel for a year, maybe six months to a year, You'll find someone that you can marry. Now, it depends upon if she loves you, you love her and all that other stuff. But you will find suitable candidates you can marry in six months to a year. Uh, girlfriends, same time. Girlfriends a little easier. Because, you know, I'm going to I'm just going to talk about a lot of stuff that should be there before you get married. And it ain't like all the sex stuff and how she looks. There's just character issues that need to be there before she gets married. Because uh, in the group, I posted this thing where this dude, he had like saved all this money. He got married. His wife contributed 5000 He had 45000 so he was up to fifty. She took all 50000 out and paid her student loans. And I was like, she getting ready to leave this dude because that was cold. And this is what happens. You know, and I'm going to talk about how to cohabitate and how to set up banking accounts and rules and stuff like that. So it's going to be really deep in this course. Really, really deep. All right. So if that is it, because I know it's a Friday and that's another reason I did this. Fridays are typically slow, but we will see. All right, guys, I will check you out later. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment. And if you're ready, 
go ahead and get in on the beta pricing of Talk Dirty to Me. Links below. The ultimate dating funnel. So with that, I'll see you guys later. You have a good one.